but it does talk about Sasuke Kitazi. And uh, this is just a quick little impromptu video. Because uh, right now, uh, I am currently uh, 4 minutes and 35 seconds into this new episode of Flux Buddies. But apparently, um, I I clicked on uh, one of my friend's discords. It's like a Yogg's Cast fan. It's like, it's like, it's like, um, it's a Yogg's artist discord. Uh, Sorry, Art, if you know him, he's really cool. Uh, go check him out on Tumblr, Saint Deus, or I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, really cool dude. Uh, and fun Discord. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, I went on that, I went on Discord after I got home from D&D, and apparently some shit goes down in this episode. Now, I don't know what shit, because all I saw was, like, OMG, that new Flux Buddies episode, and everybody was, like, freaking out about it. I didn't see what they were freaking out about, so don't worry, I'm not spoiled. But hope I'm hoping to, uh... See some landables and fives in here. I want to see my boy landable Hector and my girl's best friend five. Uh, I'm really, I'm really excited to see what happens because there's already some like foreshadowy stuff at the very beginning, like calling this whatever they're trying to summon a sheep. So I'm like maybe it's like maybe that like this whole time they're like they're like doing all these rituals and stuff for mother. Who knows? That'd be really cool. Like that's my suspicion. Since I I was gonna make a separate video about this, but I never got the chance to. Uh, basically, like, and so, like, in the vision, so, basically, in Flux Buddies 3, what we saw in the vision was the whole land was purple and covered in tentacles. And what is this thing creating? A bunch of fucking tentacles. Yes, it's not purple yet, but it's creating a whole bunch of tentacles. But, yeah, I'm so, I'm really excited. Like, like, this, this be pretty exciting. You know, it's like, like, my birthday is, my 18th birthday is this Saturday. Um, today, school went by pretty quick. I had a fun D&D session. Um, uh, my high rollers dice at a friend game. That a friend bought me came in. Uh, if you're curious, I first rolled a nine on it. <laughs> I, I was like expecting to roll a natural one, uh, but yeah. Anyways, like, yeah, this is really cool. I can't wait to use these. I'm sad I didn't get to use these at D and D today since uh, I left. Like, I left school right after and then went to where you go play D and D. So I didn't get this until I, I didn't get this until just now. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to this episode. Uh, I will record my thoughts on it after. And you guys will see, um, what do you think about it? See what happens, okay? Bye! And I'm back, uh, oh my god, that ending, though. Uh, okay. Uh, I just finished the episode. Uh, my babies are back! Now, uh, if you, I'm gonna say a few things. First, I'm gonna say the stuff that, like, I really want to say that's more important, and the other half is kind of shitposty, so I'm gonna get the important things out of the way first. Uh, first of all, uh, basically... Um, <clears throat> so, Five and Landable, they, like, travel back in time. Like, they've been traveling all throughout time, apparently. Um, uh, and so, now they're back. They finally caught up with, uh, the Flux Buddies. And they were about to go destroy them. And then, and then they saw, uh, temp the temple and stu stuff, what they've been doing. And Landable's all happy because they, he knows they're kind of screwing themselves over. They don't have to do shit. And that's where I get kind of scared because... Uh, Landable and F I'm I'm afraid that Landable and Five might take a back seat this season, like like more than they did in three, cause like three in three they had one episode, okay? Like, yeah, and tech I know they weren't in one, but you know we didn't really know Five didn't even exist back then, and Landable was just a Yawk Labs thing. Um, Flux Buddies too, they were huge in that. That is why I love that season. Uh, they were absolutely huge in that. They are one of the best Yawks cast antagonists out there, and they, they're they great, and I feel you need more of them, and Flux Baddies, of course, that was their own series, so they were the stars of that one, but, like, yeah, I really want them to be, like, important in the series, and, uh, Five did, did leave a sign saying that, uh, she's watched, that they're watching them, so hopefully they will still be somewhere to sideline sometime, uh, maybe, uh, maybe, like, one of my theories and stuff, <clears throat> I know I say this a lot, but I have a feeling, like, at some point, uh, the Flux Buddies and the Flux Baddies are gonna have to team together, um, probably to save the world, because, obviously, Landable and Five are gonna want the world to be all flux, because we're a- they're a part of that world, and so, you know, they kinda have to- they're prep, they might have no choice but to team up with them to- to go save the world and stuff, and I would really love to see that, I'm not gonna lie, I would love to see that, <clears throat> but yeah, um, now to the ship posty part, uh, uh, let's- like, a few things I've- like, I've no- uh, notice, uh, part, uh, uh, Specimen 5 went from this flirtatious figure and sort of character in the, um, in Flux Buddies 2.0, 2 
And uh, in this series, she turned she turned right into an Aussie mate. <laughs> it's them damn kangaroos. <laughs> it's Kim back with that Aussie meme she used to do in her streams and stuff. Like like if you don't if you don't remember or don't know you didn't watch Kim's streams. Uh, basically what she used to do do is like it kind of became a meme that she would try to do an Australian accent. It was hilarious, but yeah. Uh, she's bringing that back now. And hopefully she's going to do some more streams in the new year. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, finally, uh, I can wait. When I wake up at 5.30 in the morning on Wednesdays, I can watch the Aussie stream for a bit before school. So that's nice. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, like, I love how Lanable, yes, he has that super scary gun and stuff and wearing the armor and stuff. has a deep, threatening voice. But also, it's just kind of in the side of his inventory. He has, like, four things pizza. <laughs> and I, like, I had to pause the video because I just had to wonder, is that from Domino? Is that from Pizza Hut? What is it from? I don't know. Uh, another thing I know, another thing I noticed is, uh, well, of course, it's, it's obvious. It's like, um, five hands, landable thing, coffee. I thought that was, that was nice. That was sweet and stuff, you know. Uh, I think she, I'm pretty sure she did the same thing in three. Uh, in that one, that one singular episode they were in in three. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I just thought of one other, uh, prediction thing. All right, so, Fox Buddies 3, you know, they met, they did all kinds of things, get time, um, the different stones and stuff, and, um... The, you know, there's, like, the episode with Landable Commit. Like, the last few episodes were, like, the biggest ones. Because, you know, besides the very last episode that, like, like I, like I said in the past, the Flux Buddies 4, the Flux, not Flux Buddies 4, Flux Buddies 4 isn't over yet. The Flux Buddies 3 final is the most anticlimactic final of the Flux Buddies series. But, uh, yeah. Um, I, and if I had to say, uh, 2 was definitely my favorite so far. Uh, also baddies, but, yeah. Anyway, you, you know, I'm a huge Eichel shipper still. Uh, but, yeah, anyways, like, uh... Oh, fuck, where was I going to that? Oh, yeah. So, basically, at the end, like, you know, they had, like, the landable episodes and stuff. And a bunch of other episodes and all that, all that with other guest people and stuff. And one of the, and one of the episodes, um, st had Captain Richards from To Infinity in it. And I would love nothing more than to see To Infinity get some love again, because that series, it was amazing. And I'm, I'm so sad they never got a second series. I so, I'm so sad they never got a second season. Like, I were, I really wanted there to be a second season. But then Kim uh, got sick and stuff and couldn't do YouTube. So, she, so yeah, that ended up never happening. Uh, but, like, maybe we could get... Uh, I'm, I'm hoping maybe Captain Richards can come help and save the day, too. Maybe even Yawk Labs. I, I, I highly doubt they're going to get that ambitious. But, like, maybe something with Yawk Labs or something. That would be, that would be fucking epic. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, I feel, but yeah, uh, clearly, Land of Bolton 5, they know some shit's going down, probably know that the end of the world is coming, and, uh, they need, they probably need to do something other than watch it happen, just, then watch the world burn, I mean, it's probably gonna be fun for a few seconds, uh, when, uh, 5 and Lon, uh, no, 5, <laughs> when, uh, Kim and Duncan are, uh, are suffering, uh, but then it's gonna get a lot less fun when you're the one that's suffering. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, but yeah, I am very much looking forward to seeing what happens next in the new year, because, you know, next week is Christmas, and they're not going to upload the Flux Buddies on Christmas and stuff, plus Kim's still in Malaysia, or I think she's in Vietnam now, I don't know, honeymoon, uh, do, she's doing stuff, and yeah, I uh, hope she's having a great time, and I hope they have a great Christmas, I hope you have a great Christmas too, uh, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video, peace!